51. 65. 90. Oh, come, come, life. Quit counting your losses. It's no fun playing with a dull partner. I'd hoped for a good game tonight, although there is little in it for me. Just a couple of suicides. My dearest death, I wish you would grant me a favor. A favor, a favor. Now, isn't that just like a woman? Never saw one yet who's willing to abide by the results of a fair game. But I really must have these two. They are geniuses, and you know how in need of geniuses I am. Ungrateful, spoiled children. They always want to commit suicide over their first inconvenience. How many times must I tell you that the game must be played? It is the law. You know it as well as I do. Oh, the law. Law's always in your favor, Death. Now there you are. You know, I always said if woman got any say, the universe would be in a wild state of disorder. No. You must play the game. Whoever said anything about not playing the game? All I want is your consent to let them meet here before the game begins. <sighs> but this isn't so innocent as it sounds. All right, who are they? I haven't paid much attention to the case. Youth and the girl. He a poet and she a dancer. A strong man and a beautiful woman. Up to your old tricks, eh? You sly thing. You think if they meet, they'll fall in love and cheat me. Well, suppose I consent. What will you give me? I'll give you Kaiser Wilhelm, the Tsar of Russia, George of England, and Old Francis Joseph. That's two to one. Now that's dishonest. As to yours trying to unload a lot of monarchs on me when you know I don't want them. Why? When you play for them, you almost fall asleep, and I always win. No bargaining in kings, my dear. I'll give you a whole regiment of soldiers. Soldiers? What do you care about soldiers? Check your figures again. You've been letting millions of them die in Europe for the past two years, and you care much more about these two uh, rattle-pated young idiots. Your idea of a fair trade is to get something for nothing. You love too much. With such covetousness, how can you ever know the thrill of chance? I will give anything! Shh! Too late. Here comes one now. Youth! You've tricked me! You were only playing for time! Oh, come, dear sister. All swear in everything but the dice. Besides, if you win this cast, the other is half won. Well, they'll meet, then... Who are you? I am life. Oh, I'm through with you. I want none of you. Who are you? I am death. Death? Oh, you do appear different than how I dreamt. I imagined you somber, austere, yet you are, if I may say so, a trifle commonplace. Oh, I'm not as young as I once was. A oh, once figure, you know. Ah. Uh. What a pleasing exterior, eh? And yet you wouldn't be seeking me if you didn't know better. Well, alas, my boy, beauty is not even skin deep. That is true. Ah, death, I have been seeking you for weeks. And yet I am always present. Where have you been seeking me? I tried poison, but alas, they snatched the bottle out of my hands. Then I tried to shoot myself, but... They cheated me. The pistol would not go off. Oh, the well-meaning idiots. So I came here to throw myself into the sea. Very good. Uh, only hurry, someone else is coming. Why do you wish to die? As if you didn't know. Did you not give me the ability to string beautiful words together into songs? Did you not give me love, only to take love away? I cannot sing. And yet you ask me why I want to live? I will not become a slave. Slaves live to be fed and clothed. You have plenty of them already. Yes, I have plenty of them. If I cannot have love, then I cannot create beauty. If I cannot create beauty, then I will no longer live. Are you sure it was love I gave you? I think it was only desire. You did not seem ready for love. Falsehoods, evasions. What is love, then? You gave me a girl who sold her flowers on the street. She had hair like gold, a body all curves, rose white like marble. I sang my songs to her, and the whole world listened. But then an ugly beast came and offered her gold. She laughed at me, 
and she went away. <laughs> that is love, my boy. We were lucky to find it out so young. Now I know it was desire. Why will she persist in lying? Well, I am a sport and a gentleman, and I must say that life is as truthful as I am. Listen, youth, and answer me. Did your sweetheart understand your songs? Why should she? Women do not need to understand. They simply need to be fragrant and beautiful, like flowers. And is that all? I don't know many women. I will show you one who understands your songs. She is coming here. To throw herself into the sea, like you. Because she is lonely, waiting for you. For me? But I do not know her. But she knows you, through your song. And you have been seeking me for weeks. Are you to be fooled again for this tricky charlatan, even though you have seen through her and know her for what she is? There is no room for cowards among the lofty dead. Oh, death, forgive me. Life, farewell. Hold! We must play first. <laughs> so now it is you who are asking me to play. Come, life, do me a favor. Right, give me this one, and the girl shall be yours. No, the game must be played. It is the law. Then I'm to live in spite of myself. Death, I have lost you. Life, I hate you. Without love, you are worse than death. Soon the girl will be here. Then you will think me beautiful. That's the comedy of it. You probably will, you know. Promises, promises. Love comes but one. Who are you? I am life. Oh, life, dear. I cannot bear you any longer. You are so white and so cold. What have you to complain of? Have I not given you fame and wealth and worship? What are all of these without love? What? You? Without love? What about all those men who stood outside the stage door every evening trying to throw you flowers and jewels? One of them shot himself because you stamped on his flowers. Believe me, my dear, that is all the love there is. Love? No, that was desire. Ah, desire when they seek you, love when you seek them. No, no. Love understands. They didn't. They wanted to buy me in order to destroy me. That is why I stomped on their flowers. The young, incurably sentimental. Good. I'm glad you did. Why? Who are you? I'm youth. Youth? The poet? You? Oh, I have know all your songs by heart. I have kissed every line. And when I dance, I dance to your songs. But why are you here? To throw himself into the sea. Oh, but you must not. What would the world do without your beautiful songs? Do not be afraid, my dear. I have won. Alas. Why do you wish to die? His sweetheart left him. His sweetheart? So he loves someone. I don't believe you. How could any woman he loves? And he sings so sweetly. His songs meant nothing to her. Nothing? Oh, then she was not worth your love. It was like the men who waited for me at the stage door. 
She wanted to destroy you. Such is life, my dear. Love is the destroyer, always. You are right. It's all a myth. Life, love, happiness. I must idolize someone, something. And then the bubble bursts, and I am alone. No. If she could not understand, then no one could understand. Oh, how wrong you are. I understand. Don't you believe me? I have danced to all you have sung. Do you remember the bird calls? Oh, how beautiful. You do understand. Wings fly and soar when you dance. You skim the sea so graciously, lifting your quivering feathery breast up against the sunny wind. Oh, dance for me again. Dance to my cloud wind. The loveliest of all. But I cannot dance for you anymore. I came here to die. And you'd forgotten it already. Oh, you suicides. You're all alike. Life's shallowest little deceits fool you again, even though you've seen through her and you know her for what she is. But I have found youth. And youth has found love. Real love at last. Love that burns like fire, that blooms like the trees. You will not die. I will fight you for her. Love is stronger than death. Than life, you mean. Think of the greatest lovers of all time. Paola and Francesca, Romeo and Juliet, Tristan and Isolde. I, I have claimed them all. Who are you to set yourself up against such august precedents? You think he loves you? It is not you he loves, but your dancing of his songs. He is a poet, therefore he loves only himself. And his sweetheart, for the lack thereof, he was going to kill himself. See, he has already forgotten her. As you will soon be forgotten. Why ask too much of me? I can only give happiness for a moment, but it is real happiness. Love, creation, unity, with the tremendous rhythm of the universe. I cannot promise it will endure. I will not say someday he will not be forgotten. What if it is himself he loves in you? That too is love. To be supremely happy for a moment, that is worth living for. Life offers you many things. I, but one. She sends the sunshine to make you glad. She sends the winter to chill your heart. She gives you love and desire and takes them away. She brings you warm quietness and she kills it with hunger and anxiety. Life offers you many things. I, but one. Come closer, tired heart, and hold out your weary hands. See, what a pearl I offer to kings and beggars alike. Come, and I will bring you peace. Peace? You think I want peace? I, a dancer, a child of whirling winds. Do you think I would be blind to the sunlight, deaf to youth's music, to my sweet applause, numb to laughter? All this joy that is in me, scattered in darkness, Dust in my hair, in my eyes, on my dancing feet. And yet, life can be so cruel. My dearest, we shall never be apart. She is mine. Haven't you forgotten something? The game. Oh, I am not afraid to play. This time I have you, Death. Have me? <laughs> ah, nay, life, I am cleverer than you. 
For on this game hangs the doom of them both. Of both? You lie, Death. I have one youth. He cannot die. <laughs> youth cannot die, you say? True. But the girl dies if I win. Isn't that so? Well, and if she dies, what then? Youth cannot die, but he cannot go after his lost love. He will live forever mute, forever regretting his lost love, until you yourself beg me to take him. Oh, I beg of you! Life on her knees to death. Nay, sister, I couldn't help you even if I wanted to. <laughs> now, it is the law. Let us play. It is the law. <laughs> Yes, cast the luck. But one day soon, we will play for them again. And then, it will be my turn. But we will have lived. And until then, you are powerless, death. I fear you not. And I will guard her from you. Geniuses. <laughs> Geniuses! How brave, how strong, how beautiful is my lover. <laughs> I suppose it was a good game after all. You see, now that's the difference between you and me. You play to win. I play for the fun of the thing. So tell me, Life, why do you make such a fuss over dreamers and care so little for soldiers? No, oh, soldiers don't matter one way or the other. But someday the dreamers will chain you to the earth and I will have the game all my way. Well, that remains to be seen. And what about the kings? Kings are my enemies. Do you remember how careless I was during the French Revolution? I've always had it on my conscience, and I think I'd feel better if I told you. Whenever I threw a good combination, I juggled the dice. Evans, art woman unscrupulous. And they call me unfair. Well, suppose I have to keep my eye on you. I warn you I will stop at nothing. <laughs> By the way, what's the game tomorrow night? Ooh, a plague. And in that, my dear, I am afraid to say, you haven't a chance in the world. Don't forget, I have science to help me. Bah! Science, a fool's toy. I wrap them all in my web, uh, the men of science and the men they try to cure. Don't forget the sun. The blessed healing sun still rises every morning. Oh, don't remind me of the sun. Two hundred thousand seventy-five. 300. I must never let him know how much I mind losing soldiers. They are the flower of youth. There are dreamers among them. 